I have less than six years to do this. Hi, future me, and to everyone else watching this, because this is a video I plan on looking back in six years at. So here it is. So this is my bucket list before I turn 30. So all the things I want to achieve by the time I'm 30. So um, yeah, let's go into it. First of all, let me mention that I am 24 years old. So I have six and a bit years. Well, six years plus minus. I don't know why I keep saying plus. It's not like I have less than six years to do this. <laughs> um, they're all pretty achievable things. I have 13 things in total and I've I've decorated it like the um, Going 16 movie or 16 candles. I don't remember what it was, but I really wanted to make it shiny and glittery and glittery, but all the things keep falling apart because this is a um, glitter kind of paper and it doesn't want to stick out. So I'll just take a picture and put it here. Can you see that? Gorgeous. But here it is in all its shining beauty. Can you see that? Um, I don't know if it will focus, but this is it. These are all of my wishes. Well, targets, bucket lists, whatever you want to call it. So let's talk about them in order. And I'm watching this when I'm 30, probably. You better. So uh, <laughs> um, I hope I achieve at least 75% of them, like at least. Because I didn't want to overwhelm myself. So they're all pretty decent things. Like some of them are difficult. <laughs> I won't lie, but here it is. Um, first off, the first thing is pay off uni debt. Now I have like 32,000 pounds in debt because I went to a university in the UK while we were still, while the country was still in the European Union. So um, it was like 9,200 a year, but then every year there's, um, what do you call it? What is it called? Like, I don't remember what's called, but every year they add to it, like a little tax. Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot it right now, but it doesn't matter. Like it used to be like 27, 28,000, now it's 32,000. But, um, um, and realistically, I don't really have to pay it because well, I want to pay it, but I don't really have to because in 30 years it will be forgotten. Um, but again, every year it becomes bigger and bigger and you only have to pay it if you have above a certain income and then it gets taken away like monthly from your salary. But um, I just, I don't want to be 50 years old and still have to deal with like uni debt. So I'd like to get a well-paying job, which is something I don't have right now and just pay it in one fell swoop or at least pay it until I'm 30 if that's possible like I really hope it is so um pay off uni debt is like a major thing I want to do now the second is move to a foreign country for those who don't know I live in Romania um but I would love to move somewhere else uh I've lived in the United Kingdom before for uni and I really liked it but the, I don't know if the weather is for me. I love the fact that everyone spoke English, but the weather is just, I don't know. Also, London is extremely expensive. I used to live in Brighton, which is just as absurdly expensive as London. And there are very few places you can actually find, like decent places. Um, and I don't know, I was thinking Scotland, but again, weather, terrible. I'm not made for cold weather or intensive rain <laughs> but um i still don't know what country i'd like to move to so again that is something i would wish to happen but i'm still not sure about next the third one is own a house or an apartment um it sounds very unrealistic but 
I thought that if I put them on paper, it might come true. So, you know, I don't know. There is hope. There is always hope. And yeah, uh, the fourth one is adopt a dog. I, I used to have a dog and she was my heart. She was everything to me. And um, I would love to have a dog again. Um, but the thing is, like, dogs are big responsibilities. It's like a 13, 15 years commitment. And I want to have, like, a stable income, like a stable job, have um, a stable place. Like, know for sure that that's where I want to live. Because moving with a dog is very difficult. Like, moving in itself is so stressful. But if you have a dog into equation, it's just very difficult, especially if it's to a different country and I don't want to put a dog through that like I don't so um that's only if like everything in my life is stable because dogs need vet appointments they need food they need a lot of things so um that is something to take into consideration the fifth one is to read a book from every country in the world and for those who don't know I have a little challenge I want to do I have a world map and I want to like the, the things that read a book from every country in the world. Um, I'm doing pretty good so far, but there are a lot of countries. And this year I'm not really reading as diverse as I would like to, but by the time I'm 30, I really hope this is a goal I do achieve because I don't know, it's just expanding my horizons, just educating myself and also having fun with it. So this is one I really look forward to. They're all things I look forward to, but you know, uh, the sixth one is take a pottery class. Now, this month actually, I now it's like June 2024. This month I took like a pottery painting class and it was so much fun. I made a bowl. I don't have it right now. It, it's her, her place because she picked them up, but I loved it so much. But I want to take a proper pottery class, like make it from scratch. Um, so that would be a lot of fun. I just have to find a place that does that. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, then seven, I want to run a marathon. Everyone and their dog has this on their bucket list at some point, but <laughs> it is something I would like to do. It also, it's not just about the marathon in itself. It's the fact that you have to train for it. You have to get well physically. It's a challenge, you know, you can't just go and just do it because I get tired of walking two kilometers and a marathon is like 24 or 42 something absurd like an absurd amount of kilometers so I don't know what that is in miles but like European here so kilometers but it's an absurd amount so um yeah you know maybe if the chance arises but again this is very daunting um, the eighth is learn how to surf. It's just something I find fascinating ever since I watched Barbie. So um, <laughs> I would love to learn how to surf. It's just, oh, I would love to. Also, when I say, when I said move to a foreign country, I would love to live somewhere near the ocean. Um, I lived in Brighton. It was like right there, the ocean. So I was like, it's so lovely to live next to water. There's something, I don't know therapeutic about it. it's just it's a different kind of feeling so I would love to live somewhere that has a body of water nearby be it ocean the sea a lake I don't know anything so um yeah and then we have nine finish a recipe book from start to finish and I do have some of them that I've started um let me just for example this one so those who do not know, I love cooking. I love cooking, I love baking, I love everything about it. When I'm stressed, I bake so much. I have a few recipe books, I have a lot of them, but <laughs> I have a few recipe books that are very realistic and also have the, um, the what do you call it? The European measuring system, the, I don't think it's called the European measuring system, the one in grams. Um, because I can't do a cup of self-raising flour. I need 130 grams because a cup 
doesn't make sense especially when you're baking it's just my cup of flour will be different from your cup of flour so it just makes no sense but i'm derailing um so i want to finish a book and when i make a recipe as you can see here i give it a little feedback i put a little sticker and then i put like little stars and um i don't i feel like it's so interesting to go through recipes books and actually make them and give your opinion on them and there are so many recipes that I've made that I was a little skeptical about and then fell in love with them because they're so delicious. Some of them are so easy to make as well. So um, this book is one of the candidates for the finished recipe book from start to finish because it's a really nice book. Um, so yeah, I really, really, really want to do this because I love cooking. So that's why I just... It feels like a motivation to myself to try something new, like all the other challenges, but this is in the culinary realm. Ugh. I promise I can speak in the culinary realm. So, yeah. Um, then we have number 10, learn to snowboard. Now, I know how to ski. The first time I skied was a disaster because I just went straight down the mountain. I didn't know you had to do the whole snake thing and I was straight down. Everything was fine. <laughs> but then I took a course from an instructor and then um, skiing was really easy and fun. You just have to pay attention. So I would love to snowboard. It also feels like it's somehow related to surfing. I don't know, but it just feels like it, you know, um, it's like water bending and ice bending, but this is like snowboarding and surfing so kind of the same thing I would argue but I would love to learn it so yeah then number 11 is visit Japan or South Korea now I wanted to put and but that's a lot to ask because <laughs> they're pretty expensive places to travel to especially when you live in Europe it's just the plane ride alone is very expensive so um I've limited myself to or uh, preferably I would like to go to Japan because I've always been interested in it it's always been a country I was fascinated by I've also tried to learn Japanese I did try to learn Korean too but both of them are just ridiculously difficult especially if you're not going to use them it's very difficult to learn a language so um, yeah 11 is to visit one of them either japan or south korea by the time i turn 30 so here's to hope <laughs> then we have 12 learn how to sew clothes i do have a sewing machine but i'm just the only things i've made are like tote bags and book sleeves i don't really know how to sew clothes and that is something i'd be really interested in especially like clothes mending because sometimes you buy a piece of clothing and it's just so close to being perfect and you don't really necessarily want to go to the tailors because it's far and it's never convenient because they work different hours than you do and it's just I would love to learn to do that by myself and maybe like even make some dresses or like um, trousers from scratch but um, yeah that's something I would really like to do so that's 12 and the last one 13 because I only have 15 uh, 13 things I wanted to do 15 but I just I couldn't think of anything else and I didn't want to force this list so we only have 13 so the last one is to write a children's book and I say write not publish because publishing is a whole nother thing but I would love to write one because I don't know it's just something creative something fun um just a little endeavor for myself and I just I, I think it'll be so much fun it doesn't have to be good it just has to be for myself um I initially thought of putting write a book but a book is a very big ask write a children's book feels more manageable for me so um yeah also it doesn't have to see the light of day like nobody has to read it except me I just I myself want to know that I did that just that I took this fun project this creative thing and just did it for myself it'd be so much fun and it's just like just thinking about it makes me excited but um haven't picked a pen and paper yet so 
it's still it's still a long way to go. I do have six years, but if I postpone everything till I'm 29, it's just <laughs> it's just not realistic. So um, yeah, this was my 13 things to do before I turn 30. My beautiful beautiful list. So yeah, um, I just I'm so excited. I I'm doing this mainly so I can watch this in six years and be like. Oh honey, we did that. Or oh, mm, I'm sorry, we didn't do that. Um, I hope there will be far less of those than of yay, we did it. But you know, life happens, and you never know. So this was my bucket list before 30. If you have your own list, please tell me what you would put in it, what you've done, or like just any fun things. Maybe I'll get some suggestions and I'm just, I'm so curious what you would do. This was really fun. Please like, please comment again. Tell me what would you do? What would you put on yours? And would you take any suggestions from me? I'd be so flattered. Um, but yeah, and please consider subscribing. So you'll see me in six years as well. <laughs> Bit unrealistic, but I would love to have you. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. I just give the earth my soul Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls